Hello guys, welcome back to another interesting video of MT Vlogs. So in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the interesting country for most of the Indians that is nothing but New Zealand. So in this video, let's try to understand why New Zealand is one of the top destination for Indian students, maybe after US, Australia or you. First one high quality education. So New Zealand is famous for its renowned for its, its high quality standard of education. And interestingly, the least ranked university in the New Zealand is one of the top ranked QS ranking college in all over the world. Second, globally recognized qualifications. So whatever you're going to study, it can be masters or bachelors or MBA, this is going to be recognized all over the world. Third point, Diverse range of programs. When you consider another country, New Zealand has a lot of options. If you want to do masters, MBA or bachelors, it has a lot of programs, which I'll be explaining you in this video. Fourth one, most importantly, post-study work opportunities and a visa. Compared to other country, New Zealand has the highest post-study work visa. That is nothing but three years. If you finish your master with a level of nine, you will be able to get three years stay back. Another point, if someone is interested in environment, if someone is interested in hiking, trekking and everything, New Zealand has one of the stunning environment. So before I jump into the main topic, it can be a ranking, it can be a college, it can be a, a programs. Let's try to understand where is New Zealand. So if you, if you take an example of maps, just like the sticker would have added here, you might have bought a map picture as well. If you make a note, you will not find the country, the New Zealand in that map. You're figuring out why? Let me explain you why. Because the New Zealand is one of an uh, isolated country. So as you can see on the screen, uh, you can take account of approximately 10,000 to 12,000 kilometer away from Australia. If you're taking a flight from India to New Zealand, it'll take forever. So you have to go through all over the Australia and you will be seeing each and every part of the Australia. So now let's try to understand how many Indian students are there in New Zealand currently in this year 2024. So you can see on the screen approximately 15,000 Indian students are already studying in New Zealand. So now let's try to understand how many universities are there in New Zealand. So there are total of eight universities which are there in New Zealand and you know the fact all of this top eight universities are on the top QS ranking in the worldwide. Auckland University, University of Otago, Messi University, Wellington University, Waikato University, uh, Canterbury University, Lincoln University and the final, the eighth one, Auckland University of Technology. So before I explain what are the programs are available and what are the rankings of these universities, let me explain you what are the documents you have to have a handy, right? Before you applying for this university, make sure that these documents are ready. First one, your academic certificates. That's nothing but your 10th marks card, 12th marks card, your degree certificate, which can be your BSc, MSc or BTEC degree. And then very importantly, the LOA. You have to have some kind of an LOA. One of your uh, professor has to give it to you. Second, the work related documents. That is nothing but your uh, salary slips which might be required in the future and make sure that you're having work experience that's nothing but leaving letters and you are also a LOR from your two of the uh, companies make sure that at least you're having two of them and other documents uh, obviously your passport and SOP which is very important I have already shown you the SOP in my previous video so to get eligible for these universities please make sure that either you have a IELTS with no less than band 6 and overall band of 6.5 and some universities do consider Duolingo but please do make sure that you check the university website not the Duolingo website check the university website if they are listed Duolingo then go for the Duolingo and approximately it might be a score of requirement of 115. So if I talk about the intakes, there are two intakes. One is mainly the July intake. July intake considerably the most preferred for New Zealand. But if you want to look for another intake, there is another intake in February or March. This is the two intakes which are available for New Zealand. 
First university that is nothing but University of Auckland. If I talk about the ranking within New Zealand, it stands at the first ranking uh, at a with the highest level of educations and everything. And if I talk about the ranking globally, it stands at 68. And this is one of the top university in the worldwide. So if I talk about what are the programs which are available in the University of Auckland, as I mentioned earlier, my main motto of this vlog is to help students who want to get a transition from sales to IT. That is the reason I'm only going to explain you what are the options available which are mainly into IT programs. If you just see on the screen, the one of the program what I can advise you that is nothing but a master of data science, right? And the code for this M data science and you can see on the screen the duration of this uh, program is completely going to be a full time for 18 months it varies from 12 to 18 months and there's a two intake one is a July intake another one is a March intake and this is a city option and there's a mainly two point option one is 180 and another one is 240 240 is a longer one Indians are eligible for 180 so you can go for the 180 level itself and if I have to talk about what are the programs that are available and you can see on the screen, this is the program which are available. Here, there's an option you have to consider. There is something called choosing credits, right? So make sure that you choose your credits, whichever are easy for you and which you are interested for, right? So you can see on the screen, this is the topics which are available uh, completely for the uh, Master of Data Science. And if I talk about the second program, that is nothing but uh, Master of Business Analytics. And this is also one of the good topic, which program which you can learn in University of Auckland. And you can see on the screen, it's going to be a full month, uh, full time, 15 months of program. And uh, this is going to be the two intake again. One is September, one is March. And if I have to talk about the specialization, there are three specializations which are available in uh, business analytics. One is uh, marketing, supply chain and fintech. Make sure that you're choosing one based on your interest. And if I have to talk about the uh, uh, complete uh, programs and also the what are the subjects which are available, you can see on the screen analysis of business problems and business analytic tools and everything. And this was the complete topic. And yes, there's a bifurcation of the year, how it is uh, distributed and everything. Please do make sure that you're going through this website and the, what is the output. If you do this program, you will be, be uh, able to become a business analyst professional or business insight executive. There's nothing but business analyst, database analyst, customer insight officer. And this is one of the very good program what you can learn from University of Auckland. So let's talk about the second ranked university that is nothing but University of Otago. If you consider the global ranking for the scholar, it stands at 206. Let's understand what are the relevant program what you can aim for in this university. So if you have to choose a program uh, from the University of Otago, this one I can recommend to you. Uh, you can see on the screen, this is nothing but Master of Business Data Science, right? The reason is because uh, obviously this will help you to get a transition. And secondly, this is one of the good program and this is the only program which is in University of Otago, which will help you to get into the IT field. And if I talk about the key information, you can go through it. This is a 12 months program and uh, you can see the the levels and everything why data science master of data science degree structure you can click on here you will be able to see the degree structure so let me just take you through so there'll be an overview and uh, structure of the program duration of the program where, uh, okay so just make sure that you just go through this complete website you will be able to understand but this is one of the topic and this is the only topic which you can study from university of otago if you want to get a transition from uh, sales and marketing into the it so now let's talk about another university that is nothing but the Messi University. If I talk about the ranking within New Zealand, it stands at third as a ranking. And if I talk about the globally, it stands at 239. So let's try to understand what are the program which are relevant to you. So there are two programs which is relevant to you. If I talk about the first one, that is nothing but Master of Analytics. This is one of the very good topic guys which you can study, right? In this Master of Analytics, there is a two uh, specialization which I'm going to show you. Uh, there's an option to planning course, you are enrolling and everything, courses, entry requirement. Okay, let's go to the courses. And uh, this is what the courses, the option two, option one. Okay, cool. So there are two options what you can go for. One is business course and another one is a health sector. Let me just take you through it. And this is what you can see. Uh, 
part 1 that is a core compulsory program yes there you can see the first one is nothing but business if someone is more interested into business perspective you can go for it and if someone is interested more into health sector then you can try going for the health and this is one of the good program what you can study uh, from the university of messi if i talk about the second one that is nothing but master of information uh, science uh, and you can see on the screen it's there and there's an entry requirement there's a qualification structure there's a level there's a level of 9 i can see it's total of uh, 18 months of program and yes you can just go through this and you'll be able to see what are the things you are going to learn the machine learning computer vision security system security user interface design data science analysis there's a lot of things which you have to go through even before you take a decision so let's talk about another university that is nothing but victoria university of wellington and if you talk about the ranking it stands at fourth as a ranking in within new zealand and if you talk about the global ranking it's at 241 so if you consider this university, let me guide you what are the three programs which are applicable for you. The first one, uh, let me just show it to you and you can see on the screen, the first one would be Master of Professional Business Analysis. Make sure that you go through the all of this parameter what you can see on the screen. And there is something called Master of Data Science. This is one of the good program what you can go through. And there's an overview video and there's a complete information to 40 points, where is the locations and uh, so you can see the fees as well. This is the, so just, just make a note of guys, here you can see New Zealand dollars of 42,000. That is for the 120 points and Indians are not eligible uh, if at all you have done a bsc or if you have done a bachelor's degree but if you have done a master's degree yes you are eligible for 180 or 120 points or else you have to go with the 180 points itself right and you can see all of the content and the degree structure and everything is here and the final program what you can uh, you know recommend you that is nothing but master of computer science this is something uh, what you can consider and yes there's a 120 180 points uh, three uh, trimester i mean trimesters are available and this is a complete fees you can see it's 63,000 that's quite uh, costly it will go more than 30 lakhs just to consider that as well and the complete programs requirement is there I'm going to add all of the details in the uh, the video description so now let's talk about another university that is nothing but University of Waikato and if you talk about the ranking it stands as fifth as a ranking in New Zealand if you talk about uh, ranking all of the world it's QS ranking at 250 so let's try to understand what is the program which is relevant to you so if you consider this university there's a only one program what you can consider that is nothing but master of science and let me just show it to you guys how does the master of science looks like so you can see on the screen this is how the master of science or uh, program completely looks like so you can see the heading and there's a reason why it is and there's going to be the 180 points and the duration would be 1 to 1.5 years and uh, this is the career opportunities what you can become and uh, you can see one of the specialization out of it and there's an option overview degree information and uh, yeah if you have any question there's an option to connect as well yeah please do make sure that you're going through the complete uh, the program details even before you take a uh, admission to this college so and the next university which stands as six as a ranking in the new zealand and if you take about QS ranking it's about 256 that is nothing but university of canterbury so let me just take you through the program which are available in this university so as you can see on the screen, uh, this is one of the program which I can, uh, I can advise you that is nothing but a postgraduate subject in computer science. Please do make sure that you go through it completely. There's an option to download and everything. Another program what I can guide you is Master of Applied Data Science. This is also one of the good program. And there are two uh, semesters as an in intake. One is in February, one is in July. Please do make sure that you look for it. And there's a tuition fees is also available and the overview of the program course structures and everything you can see on the screen introduction to data science computer programming data management and everything big data seems like this is one of the good uh, program what you can consider if you're considering this university so let's talk about another university that is nothing but lincoln university if you consider the ranking within new zealand it stands at seventh and if you consider the global ranking it is at 362 so let me just take you through the the complete program so if you want to get a transition, the two program what I can advise you in this universities that is nothing but the first one is the Master of Computer Science. Please do make sure that you go through the complete details of it. And there's a career opportunity. This is what you can become if you are uh, learning this program. 
and there is another uh, program what i can guide you that is nothing but master of science data science and analytics and you can just go through it overview program aim career opportunity i think this is, seems to be a really good uh, program what you can apply for because you can be a data scientist you can be a big data analyst and everything so just make sure that you go through it and yes please do make sure that you're going to the complete uh, website and the program before even you take an admission to this university and the final university uh, which stands at 8th as a ranking in the new zealand and global ranking of up about 407 that is nothing but auckland university of technology if i have to guide you what are the uh, program which are applicable for you you can see on the screen the first one is master of analytics and this is a very good program what you can consider if you looking for aut and you can see on the screen this is of 180 points level 9 and there are three intakes one is uh, i mean oh, there's are two intakes that is nothing but july and march and you can see on the year and you can see this uh, as in fees as well there are two option one is international and please make a note this is for 120 points if you are applying for 180 point there will be more and you can see the requirement of the ielts is there given a net minimum requirement what you study make sure that you go through the all of this topic and another program what i can guide you that is nothing but master of program computer and information science and again this is going to be a 180 points and this is going to be a 1.5 years full time whereas the previous one was uh, uh, again it was 1.5 itself and yeah this is what you going to study the complete structure of this programs and everything so please do make sure that you go through the complete details even before you take a admission to this universities as well so the most interesting part of studying in new zealand it's nothing but which of the university you study it can be a 1 to 8 ranking within new zealand you will be studying is one of the top qs ranked uh, university globally so make sure that which of the university you are getting and you are interested in new zealand please do go for it but one thing you have to keep it in your mind that is nothing but fees compared to australia us and maybe uk the fees is less but compared to ireland france germany the fees in new zealand is quite high because every program will come uh, approximately 25 lakhs to 30 lakhs minimum then you need to carry another 10 lakhs for the living expenditure as well so please do consider all of this factor before even taking a step further so now let's uh, list out some of the pros and cons studying in new zealand the pros would be very good university globally high ranking and everything and the academic is really really good and the second part is post study work visa you will be getting 3 years compared to any other country this is the highest and it's very welcoming multicultural country which is nothing but new zealand but if i talk about the cons what happens when you are not able to finish this course because the credit is quite high if you are not able to finish this program and listen to me carefully guys this is one of the only important point no other youtube you might be able to find out so let me tell you if you are not able to clear the 180 point maybe you drop out in between you will still get a degree that is nothing but 120 point pg diploma degree right and again it will be little tough for you to find a job out of it but yes you will not come uh, india without any degree you will be getting a one of the degree for sure and yes this is not fully cons this is a part of the pros but but i can is in the cons and again the cons would be another would be a fee structure fee structure is quite high and the country is completely isolated that you can consider as a third point if you want to travel to new zealand you have to get a stop either to dubai or malaysia or bangkok and you have to fly all over australia to reach new zealand yeah that's it guys i have covered all of the points and i'll make sure that all of the program what i've explained i'll be adding in the description you don't have to worry about it right so i've also So I had another video for Ireland. If you want to watch, we can watch that as well. And yeah, I think I've covered everything. If you have any question, please do reach out to me through my LinkedIn or my Instagram, which I'll be adding you in the, uh, the description of the video. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please make sure that you like it and you subscribe. And if you want, you can share it as well. Thank you so much, guys.